Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to be decluttering my makeup brushes. <laughs> okay, so not all of them are clean. All the ones that I have in storage are clean, and to be honest, I don't need brushes to fill this container and a Cafe Butelo can and my everyday makeup brushes. So I do want to get in, really just narrow down like my favorite brushes, what I'm using every day, and then just declutter the rest. So let's start with um, the newest additions to my collection. I got this set from AOA Studio. I believe this was in PR. And this is one of their um, All About Eyes brush sets. I love the, just the black handles and everything. I've only used, as you can see, just like one brush. I haven't been able to test the rest of them out yet, so I don't want to declutter them until I've been able to test them. And I do, I gotta say, I love this packaging. Like this to me could be like a new, I know I don't travel that much, especially because of COVID, but like a new travel brush set. It's just so cute. All right, let's go through my current like everyday eye brushes first. And I do apologize. These are not 100% clean. I did just do my makeup. Oh no. Okay, so let's start with some blending brushes. So these, this is from a BH Cosmetics set and I really do like this brush. It's small, but it's a nice fluffy brush, so I'll keep that one. This Bamboo AOA Studio brush, it's a little too fluffy up on the top and I'm not a fan, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. Let's see. Uh -huh. I like this angled brush from Shop Miss Say. We'll keep that one. Oh, I also love this flat shader brush, which was able to help me um, replace a Morphe brush that I actually liked. So we'll keep those. I have a Zoeva brush here that I don't use honestly that too often. I think they were a little overpriced for what they ended up being, the brushes from Zoeva. And then I have a, what is this? Is this a Sigma? I think this is a Sigma brush. So I'll keep that one, an angled liner brush. This is probably one of the only Morphe brushes I will keep. I just, I love how big and fluffy this is. And this is perfect just for setting my eye primer. I absolutely love it. So I'll keep that one. I got a good spoolie here. This is from MAC. You don't need to buy a spoolie from MAC though. Honestly, that was expensive. And this is an ABH double-ended brow brush that I kind of enjoy. All right. I have a concealer brush from MAC. Again, you don't need to buy it from MAC because it's honestly a bit overpriced. And I've got some flat shader brushes that I use mainly for primer or glitter glue. Um, this is from the AOA Studio uh, Bamboo Collection set. I love this brush. And then this is from the BH Cosmetics set that I had a while ago. And honestly, I'm not as big of a fan, and I do like this AOA one better. So I'm going to declutter this BH one and keep the MAC and the AOA Studio. Okay, well here, here's another concealer brush. This is from the AOA Studio set, but this one it is a bit fluffier and I do like this one, so I will keep it. This one can go. This is from Cleona Cosmetics. I believe I got this in a subscription box of some sort and it's just, eh, it's just okay. Okay, another angled liner brush. This one's much thinner. This is actually the reason I bought from Zoeva in the first place because I saw, I believe it was Jessica Rose Beauty on Instagram doing uh, cut creases with this and I was like, I have to try it. And it is a really good thin liner brush and I do like it. I love this brush. This is from Luxi and I believe I got this in a subscription box. This is kind of similar to, let me grab it. It's like the smaller version of this BH brush. It's perfect for getting into, I call it my faux crease because I have hooded lids so I don't actually have a crease, but I love this brush. I love them so much. So I will keep both of those. This is an inner corner highlight brush from Sigma that I really like. You don't specifically need an inner corner highlight brush. You can pretty much use any small brush, but I like this a lot, so I'm gonna keep it. Okay, this is a Morphe concealer brush, and really I don't need it, so I'm gonna declutter this. Battle of the Fluffy Blending Brush. Essentially, these are all kind of the same brush. Do I like having multiples? Yes, <laughs> um, but I do want to get rid of Morphe. I, I don't support Morphe. I don't want to recommend Morphe. So the Morphe M433, I am going to declutter. But these, I, I really like these. I have a MAC 217 that I like a lot. I have the Sigma E25, and then I have this AOA Studio E129. I like all three of these, and I like having multiples for when I do uh, certain eye looks. So I'm going to keep all of those. 
Okay, this is a Morphe brush that I, I'm still looking for a dupe for. I cannot find one, and I really like how small. This is what I use for my lower lash line every time I blend out my lower lash line. This is a Morphe M506, and it's just like the perfect small fluffy brush. If you can, if you know a dupe for this, please let me know because I want to find a dupe. Okay, this is worn off, so I don't even know what this is. It's probably it might be an old Morphe brush, but it's a small shader brush, but it's a textured shader brush, so it really picks up textured shadows really well. Um, and the name wore off, so I can't even confirm if it's Morphe or not. I'm just kind of assuming that. So let's pretend it's not Morphe, and then I'll keep it. <laughs> this is a bigger blending brush from Morphe, and let's just declutter it. Let's not even think about it. Let's just get it. <laughs> And what do we have left? We have this Zoeva pencil brush I will keep, and then this bigger Sigma pencil brush. So a big pencil and a small pencil. Okay, and that is our everyday eyeshadow container. I am going to replace these little gems because they're kind of dirty and manky. So I will do, I'll probably order something off of Amazon to replace that and then organize these and then clean them and then they'll look really nice. <laughs> so everyday makeup brushes or everyday eyeshadow brushes done. Let's do the face brushes. And I really don't think I'm going to get rid of any of these because I really like these and I really curated this down. But I do want to see what I have in my backup. So just a quick look as I go through. I have some backup eye brushes here, eye brushes here, which we're going to go through these, but I just want to give you a quick look. Um, and then some face brushes there. And then I have everything in this Cafe Butello. So I'm going to just pull out those so I can kind of look and see if I have anything else I can use in comparison to these. All right. So straight away, this Morphe E8 brush, I really don't use it. And I'm going to declutter it. So looking at foundation brushes, I have these two that I really love. I've got this AOA Studio High Def brush. It's an F1. And then I have this AOA Studio F31. This small brush, it's apologizing for it being dirty again, but this small brush is just so good for foundation. And I thought it would be too small, but it works really well. Now looking back, I have a Morphe brush that I'm just going to go ahead and declutter because I don't need that. I have a Sigma. I have a Sigma F80. It is kind of a dupe for that AOA Studio, or the AOA Studio is a dupe for the Sigma, but I do like the Sigma, so I don't want to get rid of it. So I'll keep those. And then I have a Travel Flat Top Kabuki as well. Do I need the Travel? It's not that much smaller. No. I'm going to declutter. This is an AOA Studio Small Flat Top Kabuki. I'm going to declutter that one. And do we have any other foundation brushes? I believe that is all. So I will be keeping these three. Uh, this is a primer brush. I think it's technically supposed to be a foundation brush from AOA Studio, but I love this. It's perfect for primer. It's big. Well, it's big in bristles, and then, like, the handle itself is small. I like these smaller, like, pink handle brushes from yeah, Shop Miss A. They're really cute, and they're perfect for my hand size. I do have small hands. I'm short. I'm five foot two. I'm tiny, but I love this brush. Do I have any other primer brushes in here, which I actually don't think I do because I didn't really specifically start using a specific brush for primer until recently, so... I will keep this one. All right, this big pencil brush from Shop Miss A was in here, and I don't use it. It's, it's a little too big for my eye shape, so I'm gonna declutter this. I don't know why, but I had a cuticle tool in here. I'm gonna move this over to my nail stuff. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That is highlighter. All right, let's do highlighter brushes next. We have these highlighter brushes, and honestly, I do like most of these. The Wet n Wild one, I'm not a big fan. I do like, if you can see the shapes here, let me move these aside so you can actually see. So I do like the, like the big kind of fan out shape of a highlighting brush and this one just being so round, I'm not as big of a fan. So I'm gonna declutter, this is from the Wet n Wild set. And honestly, I like all of these. So this is the, I believe the original ABH, and it's also Beverly Hills brush and it's all worn off so you can't actually see it anymore. This is Real Techniques. I like this brush and then this is the AOA Studio F13. So I'll keep those. Okay. Let's do Duo Fiber next. So we got Duo Fiber, Duo Fiber, Duo Fiber. Oh, I forgot I had brushes over here. Ah! And over here. Oh my god, I am such 
I forgot the brushes that were in my background. <laughs> so, ooh, we're going to have to bring those in. All right, let's back up a little bit. All right. These are going on display. These are from uh, Wet n Wild, and they were part of the Rebel Rose collection, and they're really just for display, so this is going to go in my skull. All right, this big Morphe brush. It's I never really used this. The thing's gigantic. Look at it. Look at it. It was part of the Jaclyn Hill set that I bought many moons ago. It's going to get decluttered. Bye-bye. Okay, this brush from Clinona Cosmetics, I tried using as a blush brush, as you can see, and it just it's too big, but it's too small for face powder, and I'm not a fan, so that's going to get decluttered. Okay. Let's put, oh, I forgot about all these brushes. Yeah, I really need to go through these. Jesus. Okay. Um, let's go through the eye brushes before we continue, because there's way more eye brushes than I thought there would be. This is secondly a concealer brush. All right, concealer over here. Oh, I forgot about the Sigma highlighting brush right here. It's an F83. I do like this highlighting brush too, so I'm gonna keep it. All right, do the fiber over there. All right, this fan highlight. I never use fan highlighting brushes. I don't like it. I'm not a fan, so I'm gonna declutter. And this is from Shop Masse. All right, Alter Ego. I really like this brush. This is actually, oh, you know what? I should finally, I'm gonna get rid of this Morphe brush because this one works just as well as this Morphe one. So I'm gonna declutter and keep the Alter Ego. All right, this is actually the other primer brush because I thought I had one more. So I have a, sh these are both AOA Studio Shop Miss A brushes. Should I keep it? I'll, this will be in the maybe pile. I'll put the maybe pile over here, but I definitely want to keep this one. Okay, this lip liner brush, um, I don't use it. I just don't, so that can get cluttered. Spoolie. Okay, this is from AOA Studio. I did not like the... The spoolie's fine. It's hard to mess up a spoolie, but the chiseled end of this is just not good. I don't like it, so I'm going to declutter this. <sighs> This is a nice concealer brush too from Clinona. So I think I'll keep this one. This Morphe, this is the one I replaced with the AOA Studio brush. So this one's gonna get decluttered. Let's see, is there any other Morphe? If this is a Morphe, I'm just gonna declutter it. Uh, that's in Elf, Sigma, Sigma. I think this is a Morphe. I'm gonna declutter that. Zoeva, da 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 da. Duh. I think this one's a yeah, this is a Morphe. Decluttered. Okay, let's go through these pink brushes from Shop Miss A. These are from a different set. I believe it's a similar set to this black one that I just got, but they're not all the same brushes. So let me see, which ones do I actually like? I don't like this big angled brush. You really can't do much with it. So I'm going to declutter that one. Let me see. This... I like these brushes. So like these have a nice shape to them. Um, so I'm gonna keep those three. This pencil brush, don't I have another Sigma? I have another Sigma pencil brush. Which one? Or is this a lip brush? Oh, it's an eyeliner brush. And then this is a pencil brush. I think I'm okay with, cause I can, yeah, I'm gonna keep the smaller the eyeliner brush and declutter the big pencil because I'm not really using that one as much. Let me see. Can I use this one? Oh, those are kind of close. This is the Morphe brush I'm trying to find a dupe for. Let me put those side by side and actually try and see if that's a dupe, possibly. Um, this one I bought looking for a like liner brush and it's not. It's It doesn't work. I don't like it. So decluttering that one. Uh, here are some angled liner brushes. I like the Sigma one. I don't like this Clinona one as much, so that's going to get decluttered. Keep the Sigma. Okay, this is a nice brush from Royal. I'll keep that one. This e.l.f. brush I'm not a huge fan of. I'll declutter. All right, these last pink brushes. This one doesn't really have like a useful shape to it. It's just weird looking. This small one, I think I, I could make use of that small pencil, so I'll keep that one. All right, what do we got here? We have a unique kind of angled brush from Luxie. I'll keep that one. This a baby, baby, tiny one. I don't think I've ever even used that one, but we'll try it. 
And then these two from Sigma, I really don't use either of these. So we'll declutter those two. Jesus, I really did not think I had this many brushes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, the spoolie, I don't need a separate spoolie brush. This is from e.l.f. I'm gonna declutter that. Jesus. Okay, this is a concealer brush from Pat McGrath Labs that I got in PR and it's not really a great concealer brush. I'm gonna declutter it. Okay, let's see. I like this brush actually from Royal and Langnickel. Um, it's textured. I think it might be a natural hair brush and I really like it, so I'm gonna keep that one. Oh, hold on. I don't like these angled brushes. I really don't know what you're supposed to do with these angled kind of brushes. So I'm going to declutter this one from AOA Studio. These, honestly, okay, I got to say e.l.f. brushes, they're hit or miss, but on the whole, I'm not a huge fan of the e.l.f. brushes. So I'm just going to declutter those. Uh, what are you? This is a tight liner. I can't remember the last time I've used this brush. That can get decluttered. Here we have another angled liner brush. Let me find one of the other angled liners that I kept. Because honestly, that looks better than, well, that one's smaller. All right, where's the other angled liner? I know I had another one. Here we go. All right, those other ones are smaller than this AOA Studio one. Look at the tips. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna declutter this AOA Studio one and keep those two. This I don't ever use. I'm gonna just clutter this exact blend E32 from Sigma. What are you? You are a MAC something. Something that wore off. I think this looks like a concealer brush. I don't know. I can't remember the last time I used it. So let me bring it in and like try to use it. <laughs> All right, this brush is just way too big and fluffy for my eye. I can't really do much with it. I'm gonna declutter this one. This is, oh, a ColourPop brush. <laughs> Let's just declutter that. Um, we have from Zoeva a pencil brush. That's a nice pencil brush. And then an AOA Studio like concealer brush. Let's declutter the AOA Studio. I wanna keep this Zoeva pencil. It's a nice brush. Um, and then this is Morphe. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> okay, and then these. These are some blending brushes. I honestly forgot I had, and I remember loving each one of these. And I don't know, well, this one's a duplicate. That's why I don't have it out. But I don't know why I don't have these out anymore, because I love each one of these. This is from Moda Pro, and it's the Crease BMX 430 brush. I love this one. This is from Alter Ego, and it's their crease brush. And then this is from the... Uh, BH Cosmetics set. I love, I need to bring these into my everyday brushes because I love those. I need to use those. And then this is a duplicate of the Sigma E25, which I'm just going to keep behind me in my display because I already have an E25 in my everyday brushes. My God, I think we finally did it. Those are all the eye brushes. There are so many eye brushes. I did not need that many. Now to finish the face brushes. Jesus. Okay. So... This one can go, this was just here for uh, nostalgic reasons. This is uh, the brush you get when you hit VIB Rouge at Sephora. 100% um, just for display. So I'm going to declutter that. Okay, uh, this is a really good feeling brush from Sigma. It's the round kabuki from Sigma. I'm going to keep this. That's a nice brush. All right, no, I'm putting brushes I'm keeping over there. There we go. Okay, now... Speaking of, let's go to Duo Fibers. Finally going. <laughs> Are any other? We got a Duo Fiber here, a Duo Fiber here. Okay, any else? All right, Duo Fibers. I have to admit, I got this AOA Studio one and I wanted it to work, but it's way too tight. It It's way too tight and it doesn't feel Duo Fibery. Like, it feels like an actual, like, thick, bristled brush. I like this e.l.f. one a lot because it's... It's got the room that it needs to be like wispy and duo fibery. So I'm going to keep the e.l.f. I wanted to clutter the AOA Studio. So keeping the e.l.f. Now we've got these smaller ones. I really, really like 
this Luxie one. I think this is my favorite out of all of these. And then this is an old Sigma one. I like this one a lot and I like the BH one. Do I need all of these though? I mean, they're really good. All right, I'm gonna declutter this AOA Studio one and then I think I'll keep these three. <laughs> I don't need three, but I, I like all of these and they're good quality. So this one's the Luxie, this one's Sigma, and then this one's BH Cosmetics. Oh, I forgot a duo fiber right here. This is the ColourPop one. I like this one. I like this one a lot. Compared, do I need to pick one between the ColourPop and the Elf? Do I have? Mm. All right, if I'm comparing ColourPop and Elf, I like the ColourPop one. This is actually one of the only ColourPop brushes that I love. So keeping the ColourPop, decluttering the Elf. All right, we're doing good. Uh, I believe this is supposed to be a concealer brush, and I don't like it. This <laughs> is so from AOA Studio. I'm going to declutter. All right, let's do contour. Contour. Yeah, that's bronzer. Okay, contour brushes. I got the NARS Eda brush, which honestly, it's expensive, and I didn't need to buy this, but I like it, and I use it. So there's that. And then I have this Wet n Wild brush that's not exactly a dupe, but it works. And then I have this AOA Studio brush. I honestly, like, the Wet n Wild and AOA are practically, like, the same. But for some reason, I like the Wet n Wild better. I think it just feels better. So I'm going to declutter the AOA, and I'm going to keep the Wet n Wild and the NARS. Okay, let's do, let's do powder face brushes next. So these are just what I would use for regular old face powders. I think that's an under eye powder brush. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Too many, obviously. So I like these smaller ones to brush away powder from under my eyes. Now, looking, we have a look -C, we have an AOA, and we have a Sigma. Honestly, I like all of these. Mm, okay, I'll keep them. I'll keep these. There's only three. <laughs> now here, here, we can move some things. I love this AOA Studio brush. It's like the perfect size. It works really well on my face. I like this one. I do not like this one. I don't like the shape of this one. It doesn't, it's not as big as I like it. So I'm going to declutter this one. Now here, I do love this Real Techniques brush. This is a nice brush. It's a good size. I like the bristles. Now here we have an old Too Faced brush, but I love the bristles. This feels and works amazing. And then we have this Wet n Wild brush, which is practically a complete dupe for the Too Faced. <laughs> <sighs> I know I don't need to keep all of these. I kind of, I mean, I really like them. And they're all different price points. Okay, I'm, I'm going to let myself keep those. I'm keeping all of those. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. To finish us off, we have these two blush brushes. Um, I love both of these. Real Techniques AOA Studio. They're different for different for me. The different types of blushes. So like here, we've got a more condensed. This works really well for like loose blushes for me. And then this big like fluffy Real Techniques one is perfect for like big pressed blushes or if you want to do blush all over your face. So I like both of these. I'm gonna keep them. And now here we have uh, what I would use for bronzer. This is an old Morphe brush that I was trying to dupe because I have to say I love, I freaking love the shape of this brush and it's the perfect size. This is the perfect size for bronzer for my face. Um, I found this one from Wet n Wild. It's not 100% an exact dupe. As you can see the Wet n Wild is slightly bigger, but it works. It works. Um, I wish I could find 100% like the perfect size dupe for this Morphe one, but I found a really close one. So I'm going to declutter the Morphe. And I'm going to keep this Wet n Wild. And then this is the one from the AOA Studio set. And I also, I've been using this recently. I like this one for a bronzer too. So these two will be my bronzing brushes. Oh my God, we did it. Okay. Okay. So I know this is still a lot of face brushes, but <laughs> hear me out. I, I use these a lot um, and I do have a YouTube channel and I, I like makeup. So I'm just going to pull out the ones that I'm going to put in my everyday little brush container and then the rest will go on display behind me in my background.
Okay, as for my eye brushes, I did bring in a few of the ones that I had put away in storage out here, and so I think we're good here. And then the rest of these are going to go just behind me on display. Which now makes this empty, and I feel like maybe this could be used for display or travel. Remember back when, like, these Sigma brush cases were, like, the status symbol to have in the background of your videos, and I was so excited when I got mine, so I don't want to get rid of it, and I do like it, so I'm going to keep it. And these are all the brushes we decluttered. Look at all of that. I didn't think it'd be that many brushes, but I am really happy. I am probably just going to maybe give these to family and friends, or if not, try to see if I can send them to Product Beauty Share or something after I wash them. Because I don't think you guys would be interested in, or anyone would be interested in buying these, especially like the Morphe ones. So I'll see you about uh, donating these after giving them a good wash. So. Thank you guys for watching this declutter. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below if you're liking this declutter series. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.